Devante, I guess, just give us your overall view of kind of when when you really kind of get going like that. Like, what's happening? What's really flowing for you? And, and, I mean, I think, you, I think you finish with more points than minutes played. Um, I think when every player feels a hot hand, I mean, it's just some. It's just something you just feel. I mean, you can't really, I don't even know, can't explain it, but it's just a feel thing. And shots were dropping tonight, so I guess I had the hot hand. Zach? I guess with the offense more broadly, Devontae, uh, I'm sure their length caused you guys more problems than you'd like with the turnovers, but in terms of points per possession, the efficiency, the way you got to the free throw line, what was working across the court for you guys in both halves offensively? Um, I think we just we found open teammates. We uh, drove the kick a lot, and that pressure was, was tough. But um, we reached state as poised as possible. Go ahead and follow up real Just, quick. Talking about staying poised, I guess it didn't seem like mistakes bothered you guys too much tonight. Do you think that's fair in your mind? Um, we knew this team would cause turnovers. We knew turnovers were going to happen in this, in this game. And um, I mean, we knew we just had to move on to the next play. For any of you guys, just the crowd, so the crowd that you had out there. Any any thoughts on just how they were able to feed you? Um, we brought a lot of energy. Um, they really helped us when we were going on a couple runs. Um, and when they started coming back, they really gave us energy. And um, I mean, this is the, this is the best place to play basketball in college basketball. So, um, I mean, they helped us a lot tonight, and we were able to get the win. Greg, hey, this is for. This is for Taven Jackson's older brother. Um, this is the first time you played against somebody. You played size, but you haven't played that many athletic, big, NBA-type bodies. You did. How'd you feel out there? Um, I thought I felt good. Um, really big compliments to my teammates uh, for putting me in open positions to score. Um, I got to the line well tonight. Didn't drop as many as I should have, but um, just got to keep working at it. But uh, credit to Florida State because they're a great team. Um, and uh, they wrecked havoc, and we handled that pretty well. So, this is for Justin and Devonte. Can you guys both uh, discuss what you learned through the course of last season's ups and downs to get to the point where you are now to be playing both as well as you are now? Um, I would say that you can't dwell on the mistakes. You can't worry about what people are saying about you. You can't. Um, you just got to have a next play mentality. Um, and when your head is clear, then things start going, going your way. Um, and I mean, we put a lot of work in over in the off season and, um, it's paying off right now. Uh, just to add on to that, I mean, I think it's just maturity. Um, having experience under our belt. And like you said, we put a lot of work in. So just trusting in the work that we put in is going to pay off. Sure. Devante. Florida State came out swinging early. They were swinging throughout the second half. When you're checking back into the game for the second half, what's going through your mind? Uh, <coughs> let's win this game. <laughs> Devontae, I want to ask you about uh, two individual shots uh, late, late in the second half. Basically, there was the I don't know if it was a pull, but kind of that spinning jumper right, kind of right, of, uh, right top of the foul line, and then the one where you were kind of trying to sell the foul in the three-point shot and managed to put it together. It just, just take me through each of those. How, how did you manage to pull that out? Uh, I practice those shots. So, um, and also, they hack, we hack a lot in practice, so I'm used to getting fouled. <laughs> and um, I mean, I thought it was a foul, but I mean, if not, it's all right. You went in anyway. Correct. This is for Justin and Trace. I just want to get your guys' thoughts. When Devontae gets going like that, kind of, is it, I mean, have you guys seen this a lot in practice? I know he's had really good games, but when he gets going like that, what do you think? Um, I mean, I tell him to keep shooting, but I tell him to take good shots. Um, Every shot is a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but, I mean, when he's hot, he, he doesn't miss. I mean, in practice, in games, I mean, he's a microwave, so. Um, you just got to let him keep playing. What was the question again? When you see him going like that, you think what? Green light. <laughs> That's what I think. Every time. Devontae, what is it like um, on the flip side? On, on the one end, you're scoring and doing all this stuff. But when you're not scoring, you had some turnovers there in the second half. You were 
What are you thinking? Is it you're either it's a home run or a strikeout for you for about 15 minutes? There was, what's that like? Um, I mean, like I said, they, they're um, a good defensive team. They they bring a lot of pressure and they they cause a lot of turnovers. I mean, I just like I said also earlier, I just gotta stay poised and move on to the next play because I know turnovers are gonna happen, and especially against the, the way they play defense. So, I mean, I just I just say move on to the next play and adjust to my mistake. Uh, Justin, what would you say as far as your team's defensive intensity today? I mean, it seemed like you guys were pretty locked in on that end of the floor. Um, yeah, I mean, we've taken big, big strides um, in the last couple games defensively. Um, and this was our first, um, you know, first time playing where we had the atmosphere. We had a bigger team that we were playing against. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of different players could do a lot of different things. Um, so, um, and especially in the first half, we really rose to the, um, rose to the challenge. And in the second half, we kind of got a away from it, you know, at the beginning. But I mean, we were able to to really buckle down and you know get defensive stops when it really mattered the most. Uh, Tris, you've kind of been asked a similar question to this, but were you itching to face competition like this? Is this you know you came to Indiana and played teams like this? Um, really, just. We just focus on each game one at a time. Um, just have that mindset of just whatever team's in front of us, we're going to play as hard as we can. And then we're going to move on to the next one, and then to the next one, and then the next one. And that's our mentality. We're not going to take and overlook any team. And, uh, and there's just another team on our schedule. And uh, we just have to bring our all every game. Uh, for Justin or Trace, 35-25 rebounding margin. Coach said this was going to be a game that was going to come down to the boards. Just uh, what kind of physical mindset did both of you guys take inside there? Um, box out. They go. They they bring four or five to the glass. Um, so we really had to focus on boxing our man out, especially the bigger guys, um, and then going after the balls, not just letting them bounce. Um, you know, bringing them bringing them in with two hands and um, being aggressive on the glass. I guess to just follow up on that more broadly. I think Kim Pomeroy had these guys number one in the country in average height. A lot was talked about their length around the rim. You guys have talked about how versatile you feel like you can be when you go big. Was there a bit of a, I guess, a prove it mentality tonight, whether it be in rebounding, you outscored them in the paint as well. I think you had a couple big blocks in the second half, just, just a feeling of we're not going to, nobody's going to be able to match our height, I guess. You got that one. All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have been saying, like, we've been facing littler teams. Um, how are they going to do against the big dogs? Well, um, you, well, you witnessed it. So I just say that we just got to play hard and just do our thing. Jeff, last question. This is for anyone in three of you guys. In three key stretches, 12-0 run, 9-0 run, then that closing kick, you guys really made them play in the half court. How, how much of an emphasis was that in, in this game? I think it was a big emphasis. Um, we knew they were a transition team. They scored off, off turning, forcing turnovers, and also off crashing offensive glass. And we knew if we could um, just get them to play in a half court, it would be to our advantage. Thank you.